Hi friends. So today was our first day of writer's workshop and I am so excited. Do you remember last year all the writing that we did? We wrote true stories, we wrote make-believe stories, we wrote um, information books, and we wrote books that persuaded people to do certain things. Um, you did some really great writing last year and I can't wait to see what you do this year because we're going to do all of that and more this year. So we're, our first project is going to be a true story, but we're actually going to make it really short. So it's just a small moment, okay? And we're going to include as many details as we can, but don't worry because this first project is not going to be um, maybe the biggest thing that's ever happened to you. We're just going to write something like a small moment, and I'll show you what I mean. I also wanted to just show you all of my tools that I keep near me when I'm writing. So, I actually like to keep a lot of books with me. These are some books from our classroom library. And although I usually just keep these books next to me when I want to read, I also can use them when I'm writing because I get lots of good ideas. So this is the book I read to you guys earlier. It's about um, a time when somebody's relatives came to visit and so it says the relatives came and in this book it actually is kind of like a small moment because they stretch out all the details so the beginning is when the relatives get in their car and they get ready to come out and visit I'll read this to you during story time one day some of these other books are also really helpful. They give me a lot of great ideas. And I'm sure you have books at home that will give you ideas too. Another really important tool that you should have at home is your writing folder. Inside your writing folder, um, you should have plenty of pages to write. And you'll notice, by the way, that your writing pages have some lines on it. And you can either use it, you can use the lines so that they're big. I'll show you my page here stretch across the line or you can make your words small so you can fit more words in the page. It's up to you as long as you have your words written neatly on the page. Okay, small moment story. How do we do this? Hmm. All right, so let's think. How do you write a story? There are some steps. The first thing you've got to do is think of an idea. Well, the idea that I came up with was a time when I was walking my dog. This happened just the other day. I was walking my dog, and I guess one of my neighbors had just watered his lawn, and there was a big puddle on the ground, and I stepped in the puddle. Naturally, Louie walked around it because he was paying attention, but I didn't see it. So, the first thing that happened was I went on a walk with my dog. What I do to plan out my story is I think of my idea and then I can either use my fingers, and I'm only using three pages for my story this time. So I numbered my page, one, two, and three. I can use my fingers to say on the first page, where I just tapped the first page, I went on a walk with my dog. The next thing that happened, I haven't written it yet, the next thing that happened was I stepped in a puddle. So I'm probably gonna draw a picture of myself stepping in the puddle. And I'm gonna write here, I stepped in a puddle. That's the next thing that happened. I might even say, I got all wet. The third thing that happened, the last page of my story. So I walked home and I dried off my leg where I got wet with a towel. And that's it. So I can't wait to read your writing. Make sure that you are thinking of an idea. You are planning it out using either your fingers or touching and telling the story on each page before you write it. So remember how I did it. I pulled out my papers. One, I said what happened on the first page. Two, I said what's gonna happen on this page. And three, what's gonna happen on this page. Make sure that you have at least one word. Hopefully you can have a whole sentence on each page. And I can't wait to read some of your true stories. When you are done, please post it on Seesaw. And 
we're gonna keep going back to this story and we're gonna revise it. We're gonna hopefully work together. We can add more details. So when you are done, when you think you're done, go ahead and put it on the inside of your folder. There should be a red sticker on the inside of your folder. That means those are the stories that you're done with. And if you're still gonna keep going back and working on it, you can put it on the inside on the green sticker. That means you're gonna keep going. Green sticker means go, red sticker means stop, I'm done. All right, see you soon.